In 1960, 70% of all families had a breadwinner who went to work every day and a homemaker who stayed home and took care of the children or an elderly parent or a sick relative. That has completely changed, it's reversed. You literally have employers driving mothers out of the workplace. And this is often called by the press the opt-out revolution. I call it the pushed-out revolution. These women aren't opting out, they are pushed out. But we're the wealthiest nation on earth, and we refuse to take care of our children and their families. The very high childhood poverty rate in the United States has to be tied to the fact that a society that marginalizes its mothers impoverishes its children. And this is not a women's issue. This is a universal issue of importance to everybody in our society. I want my daughters to have every opportunity that my son would have. Family values mean that we have paid family leave. Family values means every child has health care and their parents too, of course. Family values means child care that's generous and good and helps the child learn so that we aren't leaving these children out. And if we are, in fact, a pro-family culture, a pro-family state, pro-family politicians, this is a way we can really do something to protect our families.